Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Trish. I wanted to show you guys what I do on an everyday basis if I decide to do my makeup. If you guys like this and you want to see how I got this, then just stay tuned in. Okay, so all of the shadows that I use are from my Custom Coastal Sins palette. The first two shades that I'm putting on as my tradition is October Fist and Barista. Okay, so the next shade that I'm taking is this dark brown color called New Terran. The shade that I will be putting on my lid is called Oatmeal Tan. The shade that I'll be putting on my brow bone is called Victorian Pear. Taking a NYX liquid matte liner and lining my lid with it and just also creating a nice wing. So I went ahead and applied my Amazon lashes off camera and now I'll be taking my Becca Evermatte primer and putting that all over my face. I didn't show the foundation that I'll be using on camera because it's just a sample that I wanted to try from Sephora. It's the Makeup, Makeup Forever HD um, foundation and I'll just be putting that all over my face. Okay, so now I'll be taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Mahogany and I'm just going to be putting it down as my contour shade.
I'm just taking the same concealer but in the colors Toast and Fawn and I'm just putting it down as my highlight colors and I'll just be taking my beauty blender and blending it out. show y'all my setting powder but I forgot to show it I'm just using the Sasha Buttercup powder to set my highlighted areas now and I don't bake for too long I'll probably just bake for a second and I'll just wipe it away because I just don't like I don't like to look cakey or just too matte under my eye Right here I'm just taking the sleep contour kit in the color dark and I'm just setting my contour my liquid contour that I did earlier with the powder Now I'm just taking my Kabuki brush from Sedona Lace that I used to set my face before and I like to go over my contour areas just so it's blended in and not so harsh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I just, I keep forgetting to share y'all my setting powders that I'm using, but the same powder that I used all over my face, which was the Ben Nye Translucent Setting Powder in the color Sienna, I'm just taking that same powder and carving out my contour. And now I'm just taking this powder by Ruby because it's um, in the shade Ebony to contour my nose. I usually take one brush, carve out my nose, and take another one and blend it out. taking my Anastasia deep brown just going back over my brows because whenever I'm setting my face my brows tend to get lost just a little bit so I like to just bring some definition back to my brows that I had used as my brow bone highlight in the color Victorian period. I'm just putting that in my inner tube. <laughs> Now I'm just taking the shade Oktoberfest again and I'm putting that on my lower lash line.
taking my kabuki brush again and just going over my face making sure everything is blended in i'm taking my dip brow again and going back over my brows and then i'm just going to take my mac blush in the color raisin and put that on my cheeks taking my elf gel liner and I'm putting that in my lower waterline. And now I'm just taking my NYX and my Wet n Wild mascaras and I'm just putting that on my top lashes and my bottom lashes. Now I'm taking the Artist Couture Highlighter in the color Sugar Daddy and the Becca Highlighter in the color Topaz and putting that over my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, well, and my chin. taking the next dude setting spray and spraying that all over my face and then I'm going to take a little bit of Crymax and put that all over my lips just to prep my lips for my lip application. For my lip liner I'm using NYX's Y2K and then for my lip stain I'm going to use Colourpop's Cheek. everyone for tuning in and watching my new video i hope you guys enjoyed it everything will be listed down below in the description box and i will see you guys in my next one